going to go through the analysis. Oh, they're doing a report analysis thing. Let's see what we got. Uh, two, two inaccuracies, two mistakes, two blunders, and they've got. So is it still worrying? No, they've got seven inaccuracies, two mistakes, three blunders. Excellent. Excellent play. So what we're we putting on? Let's go back to the beginning. See the major dips, if anything. Captured, captured. Yeah, this this I must say this player was really quite tricky. And so we came through, defended, and just want to see. There the must have been a moment where they were potentially winning. We tried to block off their attempts at what they were trying to do. So, in essence, I felt good about that. This has got a blunder mark on it. We brought that out. So we just want down pieces on our side of the board. But it's not affected us majorly at the minute. Brought the queen through, protecting the bishop still no major impacts and it doesn't like the pawn taking but i'm happy with the pawn take so black is uh, winning at this moment in time only slightly so bring the knight down capturing and doesn't like the knight move that's a blunder so it's basically saying they're they're winning only slightly and capturing so black is slightly winning here so that's that's okay that's that's fine because I did think it was a bit tricky. We took a long time over our moves. Our opponent was blitzing out their moves. So again, when I say when moving so fast, you can't really be selecting your best, best moves, you know, especially in a long play game. It's just taking that moment to see, well, is that move right or is there a better move? That seems like a classical saying within um, chess. Um, is that, is there a better move? Is that the right one? If you find a better move, find a better move than the better move. So that's what we attempted to do in this particular game. Okay, so slight advantage, it's only tiny. And then the knight comes down, it's saying a bit of a blunder, but I lay any money on it, I didn't take a full advantage of that. So we attack the knight, thought I wouldn't have done. <laughs> okay, so push through here. And let's just have a quick look. So it's basically, say, oh, you know what, I see it now. I see it now as plain as day, just taking the knight. Because if the pawn takes, the queen's got no support behind it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is, I feel sick. I feel sick. Oh, I'm going to be sick. Anyway, so we pushed on to the knight. Look at all this work we went through now after that. Oh, why did I not see that? Just as I saw it then, I just saw it. And I, oh, why didn't I see it in the game? that's unreal okay so we decided to put two on ones on this pawn um black is still winning and we double up queen comes away so it's looking for that little trick like i said uh, you know <coughs> the knight <coughs> excuse me the knight taking the pawn here um this pawn wouldn't be able to take it back so we move the king out of the way we wouldn't have had to think about this knight this knight would have been gone the queen would have been gone oh dear Anyway, they move the queen back, bit of a blunder mark. So now we're looking to pressure this pawn, but we really weren't interested in that pawn. We really wanted to pressure this side of the board against the king. And then they did this move, and it's saying it's a blunder move. It's not the same situation again, is it? Should I have taken this knight again, or what? What's happened? It isn't, is it? Oh my god the gauge bar is not dropped you know why isn't the gauge bar dropped takes oh my god look at that <laughs> oh that is brilliant oh my gosh i didn't see that but hey these evaluations are brilliant excellent excellent every time i do an evaluation though i am learning from them i am picking up on things and um, so eventually they start seeping into my game not straight away but these little little they're not well tactics or movements i, I like to term them as positions because i'm a positional player so that was a lovely position there fantastic 
Oh my days. We didn't see that. So we grabbed the pawn here, saying a blunder. We did think it was a bit of a mess. We were like, oh, how I want to get over here. Get towards the king, but then they bring the queen down and it's attacking our rook. So we had a bit of a flap thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to get a repetitive or something. When positionally, I'm thinking there's got to be something here. So we move the rook up, hoping that the pawn takes. And then we can just blast through with our checkmate position. They take the pawn, they don't bother taking, so we bring our rook back because we don't want to um, get involved in any drawn position. So we're actually winning now, so we decided, well, it's time to bring this bishop in, it's got to do something, we want to get rid of this pawn so that we can face the king off yet again, they bring the queen up, it's a bit of a worry. So we capture with a check on the king, he moves, he doesn't take with the rook, so that's a really annoying. So we bring the bishop out, so now we've got space to attack the pawn. Did expect him to bring this rook here, I don't know why. It's uh, plus 8.3 at the minute, so it's um, basically saying it's a bit of a tough call. And they bring the pawn down, and then checkmate. But I just want to have a look a little bit back to see, well... Could he not just go here? And we said if he went there, we'd just bring the bishop and attack the rook. So, does he leave it or not? I don't know what other continuation he's got. So he'd have to come back again. That's when he could potentially get the draw, I suppose. We could come this way to take it off the board if he did. did if he then did do that, so that would be a nice um, touch. I think that would be it yeah so that was a really nice game testing the old metal and the evaluation afterwards fantastic i will be taking those types of things on board cheers it's a 30 minute game Okay, so do we want to be arty or just simple? I'm just going simple, just take it off the board. Save confusion. Okay, so what are the worry points in this particular game? Fat is going to get like a two on one situation here. Fat's my bishop isn't out yet, so should we focus on getting the bishop out? Then we can bring the rook here when they bring their rook there. Hmm, options, choices. I believe I'm going with the bishop first.
He's probably looking for the bishop to attack the queen. And with him having the diagonal here, the pawn can't push onto it. So do we do preventative work? guns blazing his rook's got sights of attacking our bishop if you can see through all of this um, fluff so we take take so it opens up the rook for this file so we don't have to take we can bring our bishop back so long as if we're feeling comfortable that we know the bishop is going to be under attack we, and also then his rook, he's got like a 2 on 1 with his bishop and his rook. So he's doing quite a lot of targeting. Hmm. All from that one move. So it begs the question, do we actually want to take the bishop anyway then? Bring the queen here. here I'll bring it back if I bring it back then it takes then it's opening up pawn here Let's just support the bishop for now. Seems to be an awful lot of weaknesses that this player is looking to champion. Might be just me overthinking, but those are the potential threats with the rook doubling the pawns here. What else is he going for? Is he looking to attack the bishop now? Or is he just bringing the rook ready to go for a 2 on 1 here? No, he's gone for neither of them. So we take, he takes his pawns on our bishop. Can push. then his pawn will be on our queen so that's no good simply taking seems straightforward enough so he's got three pieces on there we've got three pieces as well but that means we won't win out if we did capture we'd need a fourth this bishop doesn't have any protection on it just in case we're worth wondering So takes, we can't take back because we've only got three, queen, knight, bishop, he's got a queen, knight and a bishop. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we have a comeback here, or we go here, but then it's supported by the bishop, then he's got an x-ray through with the rook if he comes here, that doesn't seem feasible. Let's just bring it back. So 
gone supporting the pawn. Bishop still has no protection on, could swing the knight across. But then, you know, he's got the diagonal. Where does the knight go from there? So it seems to be a bit of a nugatory attack. Could attack here, but then obviously he's got that. So that's not going to happen. Could bring the bishop this side, attacking the knight. X-ray through to the pawn. Get the queen here. Develop a rook facing off the queen. Develop this rook. Attack the bishop, send it away. So it goes away. What do I want to do with the knight from there? There's nothing meaty. <sighs> okay, can't do that. Can do that, but it means I'm giving up the bishop and then I'll be inviting the queen into the party. So there's no point doing that, is there? Bring the knight back round. Attack the bishop. Let's bring it back round. See if it can get in here. Bishop's attacking our bishop, now it's protecting, but if we go and attack his bishop, then it's not going to be protecting the bishop anymore. We take, we're inviting the queen into the party. It's got a diagonal towards our king. There's nothing else really supporting, so I think let's take. And then attack the bishop, like we said. Looks like it's getting a bit simplified now, doesn't it? Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. He's probably going to, you know, bring his pawn into the center, so he's got more pawns in the center. We could always attack the queen, but then where does it go from there? Juicy square here, but obviously the queen is going to be there. Let's just take the bishop off the board. We know they're going to have more center pawn. Ooh, he's gone with the queen. Moved a bit quick there. We do have an x-ray through but i think he's looking that's why he moves so quick because he's looking to get a fork on our pieces so if we give him something to think about in the meantime which is the queen before he starts jumping his pawn down i mean he could still do that anyway Queen's moved to the side, he's still looking for this, so we need to move. And his knight's protecting the pawn here, I was just about to whip that off the board. I could go for doubling my pawns here by bringing my queen here and going for the exchange, I think he will accept that. Is there anything else? Could push this pawn up, just to block it down. It's really blocking my bishop then, isn't it? Then he just drops it down. Hmm. That would be frowned upon in evaluation. 
but you know at the end of the day we're owning a file with the rook but he's still gonna drop down on our bishop isn't he oh what do we do what do we do queen here Why does that knight have to be there? I'm really plumping for this one, you can tell, guy. Tuck the queen he takes, then we double the pawns here. Drops down onto the bishop. <laughs> I really don't see a big major problem with that move. I think I should do it. Is there? That's what I'm going for, I think. Rook can't do anything because we need to move one of these, either the bishop. See if we did move the bishop already. It's not attacking anything, it's not like a meaty. Thing. Then he drops his pawn onto the queen. Queen acts as a blocker, moves up. So we would be managing this square with the bishop, so his rooks won't be able to come and manage that. So maybe we'd be able to get our formation going. Let's give that a try. This queen can come across and attack it. Come here, I suppose. That was a long thought process. It's, well, this guy, he or girl, whichever they were seeing loads of attacking potential for themselves in the early part of the game so i'm assuming they're still going to try and kick that in so we need to be it did drop so we did say we were going here but has anything it changed from the picture so if we go here is he looking to attack the bishop if we go here does he take then we can take and support Knight can't attack the queen, so we're going to go here like we said. And then if we can... Oh, the knight's coming in. Move there quick. So if we attack the knight, he's obviously aware of the fact that we can do that. And it's not really going to go there because he gets taken. Could come here, or... Does his queen have a line of sight somehow? Yeah, so we attack. It's not a check per se, so he can hide here now with his knight. Which stops our rook from going to here. we go here ooh if we go there look what he's got knight then has a fork on the queen and the rook ah, not too shabby eh bit too clever for me mm. up down he goes only piece that could stop him from going to this square is this pawn and he would have blocked that off because he's there 
So we could probably put a two on one on the pawn in front of the queen. So if he goes there, could come here with the rook. Challenging. So then this rook, I suppose, is going to come here to support. We swing this rook across. Don't think this rook's going to last long because maybe a pawn comes down. So we bring that across. His knight is still here. So his knight can't go to this square because the rook will take. So the pawn will drop onto the rook. And that's where we might be a bit scuppered. We'd have to go up one to put a two on one on this pawn. Oh, dear me. Wow, okay, that seems... How many moves was that? Is that more than four? Don't want to go over the top. So going to attack, so that's one move. Then we attack, that's two moves. And we assume this one because you don't want to lose this pawn from the queen. So that's one, two. Three. Four. Okay. Yeah, that's four. Don't know if it's going to play out like that. Um, I hope I haven't missed anything. Let's attack. It's gone back up after all that calculation as well. Dear. How annoying is that? So now I'm going to have to recalculate now. So I could still go with this. He's making space for his queen into somehow some sort of funky situation. Yeah, so if we didn't do this move, his queen would sit here, then his knight could take the pawn because we won't be able to take it back. So we're going to bring the rook up, still with the two on one situation on the pawn. So the picture might look pretty similar to what we calculated earlier. It's brought that one, so in essence we could take Oh, but we'd lose the rook <laughs> if we took with the queen. That's why he's moved dead quick. Ah, and that's why he moved that one. Interesting. So we're going to have to bring this rook across. Not forgetting that we've got a ninja bishop here. Uh, they're moving dead quick. Right there. He's coming down for this pawn. Ninja Bishop. Oh no, he's doing the same thing. You know that same principle. Taking the pawn because the pawn can't take it back. Because the Queen will have him in check. Have me in check. So I just need to move the Queen out of King out of the way. Why oh, is moving so fast? You've got to be. Uh, you know. I constantly say to myself, okay, in a long play game, it's nice and steady weight, but when they start moving fast, there's tactics involved. I'm not saying I've got the right answer, but that's what it looks like to me. It's attempting to do that. We mentioned that earlier. Let's see how fast they move now. So we still have the two on one on this pawn. But they're looking to squish my king, so I might not be too precious about that. This pawn is still down, but 
he's brought it back now our rook is supporting this rook so we could take the pawn with the queen and then we've got an attack coming across and also we're supporting the bishop but that's a bit of a wrong thing isn't it because if we go here and take the pawn he does have his linked rooks so he can just come here and what does he win he wins the bishop so that's why we're not going to be doing that mm -hmm. it's two on one everything's on a dark square at the minute it's like scared to be on a white square apart from these pawns here If we hit this knight, is the knight trapped? No, he jumps there, doesn't he? If we hit the knight this way, oh yes, he can go there. And then he can come back around again. Mm. Maybe my white square bishop, no, oh, I think it's doing a good job holding court here, but I want it to be a bit more umphy. If we push this, maybe we come get a diagonal take the knight off the board <sighs> I think I'm plumping for that and bringing the bishop down I might be too late though because his pawn is going to be dropping isn't it his pawn's going to be dropping we can still go for that particular move attacking the pawn twice but I feel like I'm losing the edge because I'm going to be letting their queen in somehow again it's not as dangerous now but it's still heading towards our king sacrifice is that any good? Rook takes, pawn takes. No. Hmm. What about this? Make a bit of space. Or shall we just preempt the pawn pushing down? Am I missing something? Preempt the pawn pushing down and just attack the pawn anyway. What is this queen wanting to do? <sighs> I'm just fearful of this diagonal. There's nothing that can be done. It may just just come across uh, okay let's go with that and just see what happens we've got a two on one attack it, it's just because it's away from the king so I'm not really interested in a piece that's away from their king the answer process is to put pressure on the king or the king area and that seems a little bit backwards so we'll hang fire on that and see what's gonna happen It's blockaded me with the knight, so that means we do go for this um, pawn here with the rook. Oh no, and it's, a, it's got my queen. Oh, so it's kind of forcing my hand to take here, but then his rook comes. Oh, damn. We take there, if his rook comes we put pressure on his queen with our rook oh that's all messy damn gonna have to sacrifice a rook I think just take the knight off the board oh savage I 
so you, he's got a double door center so if we go here then if he goes like that with his rook take his rook yeah he's not he's not going to do that because the bishop's there mm, something don't feel right so we take Where's my king? Yeah, my see my rook is still trapped, so I can't can't do anything. We'll have to see what he does. I've, I'm that's just one move ahead. I can't think any further. It's um yeah, it looks like my rook is dead. On seven minutes there on 22 he's moving very quick mm, sometimes when you play long games <laughs> yeah I tell you so he's attacking my rook obviously he's attacking the bishop as well he's attacking this pawn If we took the knight and say the pawn took, then we could lean on the king, couldn't we? But he might beat us to the punch by coming down. I'm gonna take the knight. Takes, and then we're leaning on him a little bit. This might be a checkmate, maybe. But now he's taking his time, so there's going to be some magic going on now. If he comes down here, then the rook will take, you know, for a check. If he takes the pawn, I don't really know what to do from there. <laughs> if he takes the pawn, then can we just take? I'd have to think, I'd have to think. Just move the rook out of the way of the pawn, I suppose, then. Or maybe we could go like so but he doesn't have to take anything he does take the pawn he's trying to come around the back he does take the pawn <sighs> if we took his rook takes rook down with a check his rook can go back down <laughs> can always bring the rook back down just protecting it's going to take this pawn it's going to then x-ray through to my queen Must be something. Takes. Rook takes. Rook check on the king. Brings his rook back down, being clever. No, I don't think that's the way to go. So I think if we allow him to get the check here, then we go here. Then he's got like a repetitive thing going on. Oh well, let's go back down. Let's go back down. It's got these linked pawns here. So we're up by a bishop at the moment, so we are winning. It, oh, it's come back up. I thought it was going to take this pawn. He's targeting the rook, isn't he? Hmm. Maybe 
it's time for the bishop to do something now. to four minutes really dragging this out I'm trying to find it I'm sure there must be something I mean that's pretty straightforward but doing this there's no guarantees of anything doing that it doesn't have to take that's the thing but if he doesn't take then we take one of his so if he takes maybe he takes here takes rook takes queen still can't come here because the rook will take so then this rook will have to take then the bishop takes and then he's down for his repetitive oops sorry check oh actually not from that angle it's not oh yeah but it from here it is yeah okay so if they want a draw they should have just asked for a draw hmm so what if the bishop went here you know attacking this pawn it doesn't have to take but probably wise for them to take so then they take then we take the rook they take then we take we would have a check on the king so he'd have to move so then the rep repetition doesn't occur oh hold on I'd have to then bring my queen to here and we're going to be losing these pawns over here okay well that's what I'm going with there's nothing else I have to do something that looks quirky or else it's not going to happen fingers crossed it looks okay I don't I can't see so the pressure point is this and then hitting this here so they're not going to want us to take this takes 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 we have a check on the king so we'll win a tempo i really want to keep my pawns but i'm gonna have to bring the queen to here Am I? Yeah. to stop the queen from coming here and getting the repetitive in that event they will then target this pawn i suppose i can push that pawn up to um, protect her okay i have visions and as you know my predictions they never follow anything that i calculate <laughs> it's been proven time and time again i'm on two minutes and 15 it's got zero increment and they're on 19 minutes because they've been moving super super fast I'm gonna have to really blitz. Oh, this queen's here. Queen is so we could take the pawn. Is he looking to block off here? I'm taking it with a check. Only issue is is the rook doesn't have a check on the king, you know, if he does take the bishop. But my saving grace is he's not got a check on my king to get any perpetuals. Ah, oh, he's been too. God, damn it. If we go here. Oh, then his queen's just going to come to the side, take the bishop and stuff. Oh, if we take the pawn. 
trying to make way for the rook going across. Nope. Yes, nope. I'm on 1 minute 28. So the rook's just going to go and defend, isn't it? Oh, this is annoying. should do it whoa crikey that was hard work but yes um, another enjoyable annoying game but basically practicing the answer process